New developments overnight in Ukraine. Russia's hypersonic missiles striking the city of Odessa, a major show of force following Russia's Victory Day celebration Monday in Moscow, where Vladimir Putin justified his war. Meanwhile, that steel plant we've been reporting on for weeks. Uh, we have an update for you now. An aide to the mayor of Mariupol says at least 100 civilians are still hiding inside that heavily damaged steel plant. Uh, both Ukraine and Russia had previously indicated all civilians were evacuated. Joe Khalil has the latest. Joe. Hey, Adrian, one person we know has died from uh, that missile attack over Odessa. But frankly, the United States and Ukraine expected the offensive from Russia to be a lot worse, especially around this Victory Day celebration. And look, it's been no secret that the Russian military has been a bit of a disappointment to its commanders and to Vladimir Putin. And the Pentagon at this point says, yes, Russia has nuclear capability. But in terms of a ground offensive, they may just not be capable of doing what the U.S. expected them to do. Overnight, a barrage of Russian missiles hit the Ukrainian port city of Odessa. Ukrainian military leaders say there's evidence at least three were hypersonic missiles. Meanwhile, Victory Day came and went in Moscow, and the concern about Russia severely escalating the war in Ukraine slowly faded. Back in the U.S., President Biden signed a bill speeding up all future aid to Ukraine, a commitment that the U.S. will back Ukraine until the end of the conflict. Every day Ukrainians pay with their lives and they fight along and the, the atrocities that the Russians are engaging in are just beyond the pale. Among those atrocities, forcibly taking Ukrainian civilians into what Admiral John Kirby described as Russian camps. We do have indications that Ukrainians are being taken against their will into Russia. Again, unconscionable. In his nightly address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, looking at life beyond the war, said his government had taken the steps to officially join the European Union. This is a direct consequence of Russian aggression, which can be overcome only together by all Europeans, by the whole free world. And the U.S. has made clear we're committed to continuing uh, to provide aid to Ukraine. There was conversation about a $33 billion package the White House requested. But Congress, uh, Democratic leaders are now saying that this aid package they're proposing is going to be closer to $40 billion. And, Adrian, they say that they want to work on that as quickly as possible, possibly even this week. All right. Thank you so much, Joe. Still ahead, tech giant. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.